shoes on. <laughs> oh, glasses falling down, you know. Gotta deal, deal with stuff. Okay, just I'm not putting on any ear protection. That's something, something you should do, drummers, all the time. So, what I'd like to share with y'all today, first of all, my name is Brian T. Carter. I'm coming to you from Black Mountain, North Carolina. I'm a new resident, a couple of days old, enjoying it. And what I'm going to share today briefly is rhythmic displacement. I've talked about it before, a lot of people have talked about it, but I'm going to show you big people who've never heard about it before, or people who've never considered how to just use it with really basic grooves. And I, I, and I might be messing up, I'll probably be messing up as I go. You know why? Because I'm fitting this in between my, between my uh, scheduling a virtual drum circle online, uh, replugging in my, uh, figuring out how to do an Ethernet cable hookup for my modem so I will have less latency uh, with that, and going out to drive Uber in a little bit. That's the life of a 50-year-old drummer right now in Black Mountain, North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to it. Basic rock beat. One, two, three. Even more basic bass drum. in harmony. It's sort of a rhythmic dissonance when you play on the upbeat. 
uh, feels a little unsteady and like the ground is moving under your feet. And then when you come back to starting it on the downbeat, it feels solid. It's a great thing to use. You can also use it with fills. Um, that's what I'm going to stop with today, right there. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments down below, you know how they do. And I will see you soon.